so we've done the body part of our bumblebee so we can now move on to the six little legs around our bumblebee so we've got these curvy design patterns on the bumblebee leg so we're going to first do these curvy designs and then we'll do the little connections one at a time and then the little antlers right at the end so I'm working on the front of my pewter on my lino sheet and I'm going to draw with my 0.5 millimeter metal ball tool and I've got a little bit of lubricant on here so working from the front with a medium to a hard pressure I'm going to draw in that first connection and I'm immediately going to do the one on the other side and then I can also do the two ones at the top and then I need to remove my lino sheet and we need to flatten around so using our paper stump working still on the front of our pewter we can now flatten the area around I'm not going to try and get into these small little corners here going to leave them for now we'll flatten those little corners with the teflon tool so once I've done flattening I'm going to take my teflon tool and now I'm going to work it with the flat edge into that little corner and then flatten that little piece So now we can add a little bit of height to these design parts from the back. So turning my pewter upside down on my layers of felt, and I'm still working on four layers of felt, I can now add some detail lines from the back. I want them to be nice and thin, so I'm going to use my sharp tip teflon tool for this and starting from the center of that little curve I'm going to draw a line straight through in the center of that whole shape And then we can turn our pewter back onto our tile face up again and now we need to flatten
there we go. So now we can move on to the next little pieces. So I'm still working on the front of our pewter and I'm still working on my lino sheet. Back onto my lino sheet using my 0.5 millimeter ball tool. I can now do these two bottom curly connections. So with the two top little legs, I'm going to draw in by hand these two little circles. I don't want to do them with the ball and cup tool at the moment. I've got too much height around them. So I have to do them free here. Remove your lino and now we need to flatten. Okay, so now we can add the detail lines and we can give some extra height to that little curves or circles. So working from the back of our pewter, on our felt we can now add these little detail lines again. I'm using my sharp tip Teflon tool and with a medium to a soft pressure I draw in a little detail line right in the center of my shape. Try to draw it as much as possible towards me and then we can add some extra height to these two little dots. So using my paper stump I'm just going to slightly push that out. Remember we can always come back and add some more height but we can't remove height. So you don't want to press too hard, you don't want to destroy your shape so it's a very soft motion and I'm working in a circular motion with inside my circle and now we can flatten from the front so we need to turn our pewter back to the front place it on our tile and then use our paper stump to flatten around our design area And remember each time you flatten, I always flatten a little bit away and every time I flatten this whole piece lifts up. Even the wings, they get more height every time we flatten. So what we can do with these little guys is we can actually make a little well on the inside and then we can add a little bit of a rhinestone in there so I'm going to show you now how I do my wells after I've done these legs okay and then I need to define so I'm not going to trace the inside line we're going to leave that until after we have filled with bee wax then we'll come back and redefine these lines okay so how I do my little well so I've got a little bit of a space now that we lifted up from the back so I'm going to use a cup and ball tool just to insert to make a little dot on the inside 
So I'm just trying to find the correct size. So this should be round about. Yes, that can be that can work. So you don't have to do it. You can leave your raised circle as it is. For me, I would like to add a little rhinestone in these little connections. So I just press down. I'm working on my hard surface and I'm just going to press down right in the center and it's going to make a little dot. Okay, so I've made a little well. Then I'm going to use my metal ball tool and I'm just going to flatten out that little well slowly moving towards the outside basically increasing the size of my well with every ring that I move around I'm going to do it on the other side as well slowly not too much at a time increasing the size of my ring flattening that little well on the inside okay so now we can add a little bit more weight or height from the back to these little circles so back onto our felt I turn my future upside down and on the inside of that little well I'm going to use my Teflon tool the sharp tip Teflon tool on the inside ring of that little well I'm going to draw a detail line like I've done these at a soft to a medium pressure and that's going to lift up the frame around my well just a little bit back to the front of the pewter and on the tile we now need to flatten around and then we need to flatten the inside of that well as well so for that I'm going to use first the same ball and cup tool and press it down again and then I'll flatten it again with the metal ball tool you need to be very careful this is now a very sensitive area and you can now easily cut a hole into your pewter so you want to work softly and not too hard here we go so I now have a nice recess in here where I can place a little rhinestone so on to the next part of our legs so now I can do these straight connections up to that joint so one in front of my pewter on my lino and then I can flatten so back onto my hard surface using my paper stump I can flatten the area around each little leg working towards my designs
So now I can add that little bit of a detail line on these two legs. So I'm going to add that line as a little bit of a detail line so that it makes a bit of a curve there and this one as well. On these legs I'm not going to do any detail lines, they're going to be nice and curvy. So I'm going to add a little bit of extra height from the back on those legs. So back onto our felt, we turn our pewter upside down. So I'm first going to do these two little front legs. So using my sharp pointer Teflon tool, I'm going to draw in that little curve. And this one as well. Again, I'm using a medium pressure. And then on these four little legs, I'm just going to add a little bit of extra height. Very little. I'm using my soft tip and I'm using a soft pressure just to add a little bit of height. I want to concentrate a bit more on the center of the legs so that we get a smooth rounded ed a look from the front. A little bit on these two. And there we go. So now we can turn it back to the front and always when you pick up your hold your pewter with both hands and I try to hold it in the center of my pewter when I flip my pewter over and around so that I don't make any bends in these little places here. So now I'm back onto the front of my pewter and I'm flattening around the area that we just raised up. Now we can proceed on with the next next two circles on that side, two on this side, and then the front little pieces. So back onto our liner and working still from the front. Okay, so we can now go on to these round circles again, and then we're going to make the same little recess area with a little well around it. So from working from the front of our pewter on our liner sheet and using our 0.5 millimeter ball tool we trace in our circles freehand And then we need to add a little bit of height to these four little circles. So we put our pewter face down on our felt and then we add a little bit of height from the back using a soft tip paper stump. Smooth circular motions. Remember we can always add height to it later. So we add a little bit at a time don't want to press too hard. Then back onto the front. We remove our felt. I'm working on the hard surface and we flatten around again. And then we add the little bubble on the inside using our ball and cup tool. So in the center, press down. We're still on our hard surface. And 
and then on our hard surface still working from the front we take our small metal ball tool and we flatten that little recess working slowly our way out in a circular motion increasing the size of our little recess until it's big enough to accommodate a little rhinestone. Then we can add the height to the little circles from the back on our lino sheet. We use our small tip Teflon tool and we add the recess line from the back. And then we can flatten again from the front. So we remove our felt back onto the tile and then we repeat our flattening process. And then we lower the inside of our circle again with the ball tool. And then we open up and flatten that circle again. Working in a circular motion from the center outwards until we have a nice flat recessed area where we can put our little rhinestone in. Okay, so now we can do the last points of our legs and the last two points at the top. So working from the front of our pewter on our lino, using our 0.5 millimeter ball tool, we can draw in that shape. And then we can flatten. So we remove our lino and we flatten on our hard surface. I've got more than enough height here so I'm not going to add any additional height from the back but if you would like you can now go and add some extra height from the back to the little legs the front part and then you just need to come back to the front and repeat the flattening process okay so that is it for our little bumblebee so we will add some extra detail lines on the little area here, but we'll do that right at the end of our design.